In a decade when Australia dominated cricket, Graham Thorpe stood out from the rest. Marking his England international debut with a century at Trent Bridge in 1993. Thorpe's dependable talent on the field saw him hit 16 test centuries through his career. But his well-documented battle with drink, depression and his troubled first marriage led to him walking away from the game for a short while in 2002. His return later that year was emphatic. His first double century and England's highest test score against New Zealand. He was a sort of compact player, so very quick on his feet, very quick with his hands. Um, as I say, brave against the pace and nimble on his feet against the spin. The great thing that the great players do is they react well and play well when the pressure's on. And that's the best thing I think you can say about any player, including Graham Thorpe. In his career, Thorpe clocked up 17 years as a county player with Surrey and 82 one-day internationals. In 2005, his 100th test match, becoming only the eighth English player to reach such a milestone, was to be his last. I'm um, uh, Graham Thorpe, uh, National League batting coach uh, with England. But he came back to the game as a coach, bringing on England's next generation of talent between 2010 and 2022. His death was announced this morning by the ECB in a statement reading, There seem to be no appropriate words to describe the deep shock we feel at Graham's death. More than one of England's finest ever batters, he was a beloved member of the cricket family and revered by fans all over the world. Among the tributes today, former captain Michael Vaughan wrote on X, R.I.P. Thorpey, describing him as a great player and brilliant teammate, while England batsman Joe Root called him a hero, mentor and so much more. The cricketer Graham Thorpe, who is...